Mumbai, December 2008. Ten attackers armed with semi-automatic rifles, 300 rounds of ammunition, grenades, and a bomb attacked targets in India's financial hub, killing over 160 people. Now word that a so-called active shooter scenario, similar to what happened in Mumbai, was being plotted for the capitals of Europe. The soft target attacks would reportedly have started in Britain, then spread to France and Germany, and possibly include hostage-taking. How was the plot uncovered? In Kabul, Afghanistan, a German citizen of Afghan descent was reportedly arrested and handed over to U.S. officials. That man spilled the beans on the deadly plan to target civilians in Europe, a plan possibly directed by Osama bin Laden. So what about us here in New York City? We have no specific threats against uh, in New York City, but obviously we're always vigilant. We're always on guard. On guard and on edge in Paris, where the Eiffel Tower has been shut down twice in two weeks after false alarm bomb threats. To keep the enemy off guard, stepped-up drone attacks are targeting terrorists in the Pakistan-Afghanistan border. But the drumbeat of danger is quickening and a cause for concern. There is a, a, a belief in the intelligence community that there is more so-called uh, chatter uh, going on throughout the world, not just uh, anything directed specifically at, at New York, but uh, there is a level of activity that the intelligence community is, is concerned about. Yes. Almost as soon as the smoke cleared after the Mumbai attack, NYPD sent three officers to India to get on the ground information. Could it happen here? Yes, but there's two numbers to keep in mind, 250 and 1,000. After Mumbai, NYPD trained 250 more officers in the use of heavy weapons so they can help emergency service officers in the event of a Mumbai-style attack should it happen here. And there are now more than 1,000 NYPD officers involved in the business of counterterrorism every day.